now we will define the construction stages so you can close this window go in group first thing we'll have to do is to assign all the nodes and elements here to uh, the structure group by drag and drop and now we will uh, assign the construction stage so you can see here the PDF so CS1, CS2, CS3 and CS4 are the four construction stages the element group uh, and the boundary group associated which is each step the load groups also uh, here you have the time first step the activation time and some remark so uh, let's do that so the method uh, used actually is to generate all the construction stage and then to modify each construction stage separately so click on generate um, you can enter name so cs for construction stage suffix it will be one two four because we have four construction stages you can enter 30 days for uh, the duration and uh, additional step days 25 click on add and finally um, click on apply so now you have the four uh, construction stages and we will have to modify them individually so click on the first one modify show first let's delete the additional step here um, for the duration of the first stage it will be five days Mm, here in the group list so you have three types element boundary load so you have to go through these three uh, steps for each construction stage so first of all as group so age uh, zero click on add now go in the boundary tab click on B group and click on add here Finally, go into the load tab, select uh, DLBC1 and DLBC2. Uh, here, active day it will be from the first day. So, click on add and click on OK. So, now you modify the first stage. Second stage, so, second stage. Uh, group list so go in the boundary tab e white 1 click on add here and uh, then go in the load tab and dlbc3 active day 25 day and click on add click on ok now third stage Boundary E white two add and load it will be DLBC four and uh, sorry from twenty five days. Okay, click on add and finally for the next stage you will delete again this additional step. Um, duration 10,000 it's uh, the life of the bridge so boundary tab e white 3 add and for the load it will be the DLAC add and click on OK. So now we created all four construction stages. And we have to define the composite section which correspond to each construction stage. Because you are within composite. So uh, actually the steel 
uh, will be activated first and the slab will be activated afterwards so click on the composite section for CS and click on add so active stage CS1 section 1 composite normal um, so here you have the two parts the uh, element the part 2 so here you will choose material um, here you can choose the activity the stage uh, choose the material cement the age and uh, so the activate stage will be CS2 uh, age will be 5 days and the last thing we have to do is to go in the stiff scale and to put the waist to zero. So it is actually to not include the self weight of the concrete in the automatic calculation of the self weight uh, by the self command. So um, it will be defined actually by the element beam load we defined previously. This is why we input zero here. Apply. Now do the same for the other sections. So active stage, it will be again CS1, section 2. This time, so part 1, uh, it's the same. Part 2, material, great. Active stage, uh, it will be CS3 this time. The age will be um, zero. Stiffness and here again uh, enter zero for the weight. Okay, click on apply. And finally, section three material active stage zero and OK. Close. Now we are ready to launch the analysis. So we have to set, before beginning the analysis, we have to set the options to go into construction stages and uh, choose the options. So uh, last stage for the final stage. Uh, check the include time dependent effects. So click here. Uh, verify that creep and shrinkage are activated. So for convergence for the creep iteration uh, will put 5 and tolerance is 0 0.01. Then for the internal time step for the creep, activate and set it to 1. Uh, and this will check this option auto time step generation and click on OK. So now we are ready to launch the analysis. OK, so uh, come back to the construction stage, define stage, and for each construction stage you have to activate the save result uh, option. Well, let's verify again the construction stage option. OK. And we can perform the analysis. OK, now the analysis is over and we can review the results. So there are two methods of reviewing the analysis results for the construction stage analysis. One is to review the accumulated member forces and the displacements of all the members at each specific construction stage. 
and the other is to review the changes of the stresses in each part of the composite section due to the preceding construction stage in the table format. So let's review first the member forces. So uh, actually here in this small tab you can select one precise construction stage. So you can select the stage 4 for example. Uh, you have also uh, min and maximum and the post CS stage. So go in the results tab and in the so uh, here go in the result tab forces and here you have beam diagram so if you check that for the load case check the CS summation and the choose the last step and you can see on the graph uh, so better to hide the beam load and the boundaries to see better okay now you see uh, the beam diagram you can see the legend too and you can check that for each construction stage so for the first one uh, then the second one third one and the fourth so for each construction stage you have this if you want you can also review the deform shape and displacement control so uh, this is the bridge you can view the deform shape like that uh, you can change the scale factor and like that e by each step of construction so here you, you view the slab has been added so the second stage the third and the fourth stage you have uh, the bridge and finally the final stage okay. now let's review the stress so here in the results tab you have t results tables and let's go into this composite section for CS and check the beam stress. Now we have a big table and it's asking uh, which kind of stress you want to see. So first uh, choose an element so we will see the stress at the element 19. Load case combination will choose the summation CS. We'll uh, choose to see all the construction stages and only uh, the part G uh, will be checked and now you see you have all the information you need in a table so the actual uh, strength bending uh, following several directions okay it's all for this tutorial so thank you very much for watching and again uh, we'll have some tutorials every week, so don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.